Hatred is compassion, it's unity, and it's love. Okay, so all you need is love to fight the terrorists. Let's debate that uh, with the Fox News contributor, uh, Reverend Jacques DeGraff is here, and Bishop E.W. Jackson, president of STAND, and uh, by the way, who's a former Marine. E.W., all we need is love? Well, first of all, this just goes to show how confused these folks are. Look, Brian, if someone attacked your wife and children, you mean to tell me you'd stand there and say, you know, I'm just going to love you. Well, of course not, because you love your wife and children. You have a responsibility to them first. And our government has a responsibility to us as Americans, a constitutional responsibility to defend our safety and our security. So applying this sort of specious, religious nonsense to that concept is just an insult to the American people. No wonder we're under attack by terrorists. Uh, Reverend, I have to be honest. I agree more with the bishop here. I was stunned and offended by that statement. Am I not just evolved uh, with my religion? Well, I, I don't know that the attorney general was trying to make a religious statement in the first place. I do know I believe in love. Love is what got us up after Pearl Harbor. Love of country, love of God, and love of family. But not love of the Japanese. But the point uh, not is, love, love of the Japanese love, war love machine. conquered hate. And and when when David met, went to be, fight Goliath, he brought love and a rock. And so I don't think yeah. that they are mutually right. exclusive. In the battle of Midway, we we have to be able to defend. In the battle of Midway, Bishop, uh, Reverend, people, people Reverend, have to. Wait, real America. second. In the battle of Midway, were we showing love? I'm saying we were showing love of country and love of self. There's nothing wrong with loving your family. There's nothing wrong with loving your country. And when you do that, you have to be prepared to defend it. Uh, Bishop, do you think it's the wrong message? Because when you have an enemy, you can't physically embrace that enemy. And keep in mind, too, Donald Trump went on to say, the main victims of Islamic terror are fellow Muslims. Well, look, no wonder the church in America is so confused because you have nonsense like that being spewed. That's theological malpractice. When David fought Goliath, David didn't go singing, tiptoeing through the tulips, I love you, Goliath. He told Goliath, I'm going to cut your head off and I'm going to feed it to the birds because Goliath was threatening the, Israeli, the, the people of Israel. I mean, look, these terrorists are cutting off the heads of children. And to, to bring the context of love into a discussion like that, I mean, it's, it's almost madness. But this is where political correctness goes when you're told you can't even mention the fact that it's Islamic terror. Well, that's exactly what it is, and we better deal with it for what it is, or we're going to see a lot more Americans die, and we that's shouldn't Holy be loving Ghost that. That's hogwash, and you know it. This is really about love of country and love of self and love of principle. That's not what she was talking about. And not letting the dark side and you know it. conquer the light. And so uh, that's Americans not what know she was that. Talking about. That's what Americans no, Donald Trump is not in the equation, and Loretta Lynch is leading it with, as one of the that, most historic well, attorney generals in American history. Reverend, let me just ask you this. When you see those Christians on their knees, wearing jumpsuits, knowing their heads are about to cut off, are you thinking all those terrorists need is love? It's not love of the terrorists. It's love of God. And so, yeah, well, I love their soul. How do you survive, souls, how do you survive that moment? I think you have a right to defend yourself against terrorists. And so no one is saying this, this is, that, that love e equals abdication or surrender. People are saying that you have a love of country. Defend your country. No one is saying that. And, and Loretta Lynch is clearly not saying. And that's political hogwash to try and well, to, to, yeah. to, 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 to prop this up as something that it's not. Everyone who goes to this, church on Sunday yeah, well, morning okay. knows that. And, well, and this finally, is what Bishop. liberals do. When, when, this is what liberals do. When they don't like the facts... They just change them, and everybody's supposed to believe. Don't believe what you see and heard, but right. believe what I'm this telling you about. This is what opportunists do the when they don't done. have a, le uh, a I don't see how leg to stand on. I believe I stand on the see, Bible. There you go. So I now, stand now on my Bible. Personal right. I stand on my Bible. <laughs> right, uh, Reverend? Yeah. Well, I don't know which Bible <laughs> yeah, that you is. Of course you don't. <laughs> well, of course you don't. Yeah. Uh, Bishop, but guys, I, I know good debate. Thank you. Very good debate, but no one cut off Loretta Lynch. She says we defeat the terrorists with love, and that makes us wonder why we bought all the camouflage and armor and have a defense budget if we're going to just need Bullets love. Bullets and bombs cannot just defeat terrorists. Well, we have, we have to have, find some way to get them off this planet so they don't kill us. Well, uh, Reverend well, Jacques DeGraff. let's send Mr. Jirak out there. Let's mm -hmm. send Jirak out there to defend us. And I'm sure he'll persuade them right. without the, mm -hmm. the bombs and the bullets. And they seem so open to debate. Bishop e. W. Jackson, thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, straight ahead. He was Osama bin Laden's bodyguard. This morning, he just the latest terrorist released